I'm back. <laughs> I was like, thought I was recording like earlier. And <laughs> I was like just a talking away. And I'm like looking, I'm going, wait a minute. <laughs> this has not been recording. <laughs> Take two. Okay. Um, I couldn't decide at first, like what I want to talk about. I've been just trying to like get my life together, you know, with the new job and everything. It's kind of like taking over in my life because it's like, I don't really know how to be, where to begin, what to do with everything, how to manage my, I'm working from home, so but how to manage your daily time and stuff like that without devoting your whole day to being on a computer. Like I had to learn how to take breaks and stuff like that. So trying to work all that out is a whole nother story. So I say out to say, just moving on past that. I'm thinking about, I was thinking about how my love life is affecting my kids. Okay. And it's like, I'm going to start from the beginning. So when we come to me and their dad, you know, Daria was like three when we divorced. Ella was like one. So they're super little. And so Daria remembers us in both houses that we were in. And, you know, I try to keep, like, I want her to see that me and their dad were married at some point. And they love to look at the pictures of us when we were married. And they are shocked at their dad because he looks so crazy right now but the way how he used to look back then they don't even recognize him i know it was shade but basically they're like well mommy like especially daria um i want ella's done this now too like recently well mommy when are you guys gonna live in the same house again and so i'm like mm -hmm. never <laughs> You know, like, how do you say that in a, like, nice way? And I'm, and I'm like, well, you guys, you know, me and daddy, we get along now, you know. Um, like, how do you explain divorce to kids? Like, they don't understand, like, you were married and then, like, now you're not. And, like, how do you explain that? They're, they're so black and white, you know. And so, like, Daria's like, well, mommy, when you and daddy stop fussing, can you come, like, can y'all live in the same house again? She, like, remembers a lot of stuff still like she remembered like she out of the blue like she we were doing homework and she was like mommy um I remember at the old house when you and daddy were crying and I was like yeah we were you know what I'm saying it's like you can't say well no we weren't crying baby no it's like we were <laughs> we decided we weren't gonna be together anymore and it was a cry fest so um I always been very open with them about everything. I told Daria whenever um, me and their dad were going to be in different homes and stuff. I said, you're going to, mommy and daddy are going to have their own home. And you're going to see daddy at his house and mommy at her house. So she's like, okay, mommy. It was like three, you know. But like now it's like she's asking questions like we're in the car. And she's like, mommy, was daddy, is daddy the love of your life? We're... Why? You know, why are you asking me this question? I'm never ready for these questions. Like Daria is like and Ella are so different levels of like thoughts, you know what I mean? So I, I was like, I don't know. She always asks me, like, it always catches me off guard, these questions that she asks me, like these introspective, you know, like I don't even know. But I'm just like, okay. So I told her, I was like, was at one point I thought he was like I'm just like trying to like talk and think of an answer at the same time and then she's like I said well I thought he was but he not like we're just friends now and she goes what does that mean I don't understand that <laughs> I was like neither do I Daria let me get back to you on that <laughs> so I I don't know like it like, what do you even say? And I think the part that makes it worse for me is just that I was dating somebody and I'm I'm still contemplating, like, showing you what I did when I found his picture. So, if you see a, a picture burning at the end of this video and me, like, doing a voiceover, it's because I decided to go ahead and add that to this. <laughs> um... It was very therapeutic, um, to say the least. 
you know, okay, so the guy ghosted me, right? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, but the girls had a relationship with him. He had a relationship with the girls. And that's something that, like, as a mother of two girls, you're always very, like, protective. Well, for me, I can't speak for everybody, but I'm protected over who they encounter. So they've only seen him and then a classmate of mine, you know, that he does, um, <clears throat> excuse me, like he does pest control and maintenance and stuff. And so he'll come to my house and do stuff. And then we talk and we, we hang and everything and they've been to his house and stuff. So we're friends. So I want them to see like healthy friend relationships with men, you know what I'm saying? But they also saw, like Daria saw like with me and the dude, she was like, you love him, right? So it's like she saw that and then they saw that and then like now he's gone. Like how do you even explain that to children? Because it's like how do you go from, okay, you and daddy were together now you're not together. And then you and this guy were together and now you're not together. And so it's just like, so my whole like thought process on next time when I'm thinking of dating somebody seriously that it'll probably be a very long time before I introduce them to my kids um it will have to be something like where I feel like you're going to be in my life for the rest of my life it has to be like that at this point for me because I don't I don't want them to see me in these long relationships and then nothing happens you know what I'm saying like mommy can't hold a, a man <laughs> them having that as an example um but I want them to see me in like healthy situations with men because I want them to know how to interact with males in a healthy way so I'm just like it's so many different factors you know what do you do you know what I'm saying I'm not going to bring everybody over at my house I'm not going to do that either so it's just like it's just so many factors and levels to this but like I said he and I would have to be super serious to the point of like I said we're going to get married again. I still don't know how I feel about the whole marriage thing. That's a whole nother story. I just don't know if I believe in it anymore. But that's neither here nor there. But a life partner, whoever, he and I will have to be that serious. And then I will say, okay, let me start bringing you around the children and things like that. Because especially if we're going to end up living together, it's obviously a situation where they're going to need to be around him. He needs to be around them. Um... He would have to meet my ex. You know, we all have to feel comfortable with the situation. It's like, like I said, it's a tricky situation. It's also one of the things where if they, if he has children, um, I, I would hope they were the same age as mine. You know I me, mean? preferably. I'm not a big fan of like teens and little kids and just all of the stuff that can happen. You know what I mean? I'm not oblivious to life and how things can go badly you know with blended families so yeah so that's something that I have to stay prayerful about too um and then predators and pedophiles and you know you're meeting these guys and you're just like you know what's your mo guy you know what I'm saying most men my age you know 40 and up they're not looking for somebody like me they're looking for a woman that's single doesn't have any kids from afar and she does she had their grown out of the house you know what i'm saying not someone who's basically at the beginning stages and stuff because they already been there and they're wanting to just like go when they want to go like you know what i'm saying and i don't fault them i like when men say i you know i can't do the kid thing i was they were already there in that life they don't want to go back to it and i feel them you know and i and i respect it you know but you know like i said some, some can't deal with i can't just pop up and say hey like you know if a guy says hey you want to meet me at this um you know this restaurant or this cigar bar over here you know we're going I can't just up and leave the week I have my kids and so it's like it can't just be like all the time it that part is hard because I love spontaneity I love that but it's like guys never be hitting me up when I'm by myself when I don't have the kids I swear to you nobody <laughs> absolutely nobody my girl you know Lula she'll be hitting me up but dudes they it's like they know I have the kids and then all of a sudden hey what you doing tonight hey what you doing but I'm like are you serious you know <laughs> I'm not paying for a sitter I just can't you know what I'm saying it's just like so yeah it's it's like look my schedule I told you we go and we go off you know pay attention 
<laughs> but like, you know, it's like I said, um, and it's, yeah, I mean, it's like I said, it's just like, there's just different things in your life that you're not able to just do, um, when you're a single mom and stuff. And it's like, you can't just go places when you have the kids, you, you know, so you always got to keep them in mind. Like, it's never just about you. It's about them too. Um, and like I said, it's like, you got to look at the person that you date. Like, are they going to be good, a good step parent? Will they parent them? Well, do you guys have the same beliefs? I mean, the same type of stuff you go into when you're, you're dating without kids, you know what I'm saying? Are right, you just got to have the same values? You know, I think that's at the end of the day, that's what it boils down to in any relationship. Do you have the same values? You don't have to always have the same beliefs. I don't believe in that. You know, I mean, you're agree and disagree about everything. Values or something else. You know, that's at the core of here. You know what I mean? Which you really um, value the most. You know, some people is family. Some people is their job. Some people is loyalty. So it just, it just depends. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, you know, it's just like, what do you value? Some men value a woman that can cook and clean some men don't care about all of that you know they care about other stuff you know what i mean um it's just are they you know for me the guy has to be good with money you know what i mean i don't want him borrowing money from me i just can't deal i can't go that world no more i am not going back to building a guy up again I'm not doing it if they're not already built i can't help you I'm trying to build myself. You know what I'm saying? I can't do it no more. Not not for a grown ass man. Mm -mm. You know, when we're in our 20s and maybe even in our 30s, I'm down. But now that I've hit 40, I'm just feeling like if you're a man and you're around my age or older, you should be pretty established. I don't care what your career is. I don't care what your job is. You can be a freaking, you know, you can be a garbage man or whatever. Heck, they make good money. So, you know what I mean? Whatever it is, you got nine to five. Good. You have your own house and you have or or apartment. I don't care. Your own place, your own vehicle, and you're not attached to anybody. <laughs> you don't have an ex wife that's hanging around. You don't have an ex um girlfriend that's hanging around. A baby mama that's hanging around. Like you have to be for me a value emotionally available. Have to be. That stuff, whatever you had in the past, has to be gone. Like, distant past. Like, I'm not thinking about it past. Like, I don't even speak to them past. You know what I mean? Like, stuff like that. Because, dude, from the, the last guy, with all of that stuff that I dealt with, and even before, like, guys in general that I've seen to attract, which I'm trying to, like, like manifest not, you know, emotionally available, available men from now on, before it was they're in something they're kind of like they're unhappy they're not it's a wishy-washy situation and i just i i have to have more value myself to to for for what i have going on for me to not be down for that i don't care how much how sweet they are what the nice things they say to me you know because i think my scene was kind of low and so it was like an attention, you know, people paying attention to you. So you'll put up a lot more, you know, but I have to start like letting all that go, like start feeling good about yourself. Like self-love is not just about, I love myself. Self, self-love is like, you know, I have to love myself, um, to the point of, I don't care if this person thinks I'm cute or not. I have, I think I'm cute. You know, I have to look at myself and say, I look great. You know what I mean? And if someone doesn't um, respond to my text or they're not hitting me up all the time, it's okay. It's just not my season. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm, I got to learn to not take things like personal, you know, um, the ghosting thing really threw me for a loop because it really had me wondering like, what was wrong with me? Why wouldn't they want to stay? Like you got to start thinking of it as it's not about you. It's them. They have something missing and going on in their life. That's just jacked. You know what I'm saying? So don't put it on that, like on you. 
whatever they he has going on, that's on him to make to have for him to make a terrible decision that he made, a cowardly decision that he made, like that's on him. It's not me, but it took a while for me to see that. You know what, Anissa, that wasn't necessarily, that wasn't on you. That's on him. There was nothing wrong with you. So I'm bringing it back to my kids. I want to feel enough so that they can see you're enough. You don't need a man to fulfill your, your dreams and your life and everything. I like how those, the, I like how the Disney movies and some of the stuff is going with women, like fulfilling their own to, like career lives and careers and passions and dreams I like that but I also like the love factor like I do like the whole maybe there is the love of your life because Vivo says that but it's like it's not always so black and white all the time I feel like sometimes you might have more than one love of your life some people only have one some have more <laughs> I feel like I'm the, the one that has more. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it there. And um, so this Virgo season is like a hermit mode. I think I need to, to reel it in. <laughs> bracket, 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 pack it in. Like COVID coin, quarantining it then. <laughs> I probably just needed to do that for a while. <laughs> All right. Peace.